We begin tonight with the future of Kern's oil industry. The Board of Supervisors held a meeting today on Governor Gavin Newsom's new regulations on oil production and its impact on the economy. Hundreds of people from the industry and some opposed to it made their voices known at today's meeting. 17's Aton Wallace was there and he joins us now with a recap. Aton. Well, the nearly six-hour-long meeting featured dozens of speakers, including members of the governor's administration. It was a packed house at the Board of Supervisors Chamber Tuesday. Hundreds of people in attendance, including those from Kern's oil industry. Many voiced concerns over new regulations imposed by Governor Gavin Newsom. Regulations which include a ban on new permits for steam-injected oil drilling and a mandate that any new fracking projects must be reviewed by an independent panel of scientists. Those in the industry say the governor's policies could hurt the roughly 23,500 people either directly employed or associated with Kern's oil industry. Governor Newsom and elected officials in Sacramento need to understand that the decisions they make have significant impacts on the people and families in this community. In the 48 hours following the governor's announcement, Barry lost $354 million in market value or nearly 40% of our stock value. The impact of this most recent effort by the governor, as well as his ongoing efforts to stifle the industry, will have a long-lasting negative impact on all of us, including Kern County. It's not just to make Californians export their wealth to Saudi Arabia. It's not just to put these folks behind me out of a job. And I think if we want to talk about justice, we shouldn't be talking about getting off of Kern County oil. We should be talking about getting more reliant on Kern County oil and less reliant on those that are coming in from other places. In attendance, high-ranking officials from the Newsom administration, including his legislative secretary, Bakersfield native Anthony Williams. As we move to Toward a stronger future for Kern County that requires a more diverse dynamic regional economy as well these changes will not happen overnight but they will come nonetheless we are committed to applying a thoughtful and measured approach as we transition to a low carbon economy that pri prioritizes leaving no one behind Ingrid Brostrom with the Center on Race, Poverty and the Environment believes the oil industry must work with the governor. The oil and gas industry is a dying industry and if Kern County isn't proactive with planning now with state investment on the table, there's going to be a huge opportunity loss and the Kern County oil and gas workers are going to be the hardest hit. Supervisors said they want to work with the Newsom administration but they acknowledge there are disagreements. If we do not effectively um, change the course that we seem to be upon, I don't think we have any choice but to take more measures. And one of those is, I will ask my board to declare Kern County an oil and gas sanctuary in the state of California. Why would this administration pursue policies that will destroy domestic production in California, only to send our jobs and our treasure to these countries with terrible human rights records, little to no environmental controls? Why would we not instead produce our oil here, where we do it safely and responsibly? This, in my opinion, is the hypocrisy of the governor's attack on Kern County, and I don't think we're willing to accept it. So what action will come out of this meeting? Well, the board took two actions. First, supervisors will work to send a delegation to Sacramento to meet with the governor on oil. And second, the county will hire a consultant to write up an economic impact report about how the governor's regulations could impact Kern County. In the studio, Aton Wallace, 17 News.